can put us in pretty good at the bottom. We're in. We're in short. We'll adjust as needed. We're going to see if we can make something happen here. We're in with the MCOD consolidation method, essentially just trying to capture. Chop. There's a ton of money to be had in those periods. You just have to find a method of capturing it. And I do believe that I may have stumbled into something that can do just that pretty well. So we're going to see what we get out of this. I'd love to have gotten in short up here. That would have set us up a little bit better. Uh, yeah, I'm going to reposition it. Took a very small loss. I am going to hop in going long. We're going to reposition ourselves to uh, make this chop a little bit more worth it. If we can keep chopping here in this little range, we would be golden with this positioning outside of where we were. I couldn't capture the five minutes of chop back and forth, and we would have been out right now if we didn't move this position. We would have tagged a win and then potentially gone the other way. Really hard to kind of get this method to play out right. A little bit sloppy, man. So we're down on that. Gotta look for some more consolidation. I'm getting in. I'm looking for the chop here. Looking for five points to the upside. We tag this. We will reverse right back to the entry on the TP. Going long, going short. Back and forth trying to capture the movement in this consolidational period. Looking for five points on the TP side. Can we tag it? Very close. Boom. Tagged it. Trying to capture the choppiness. Trying to take advantage of those little micro moves. There's a lot of money in the consolidational periods. Just think that we need to figure out methods for capturing it. Should come right down to it. Almost. Boom, we just got it. Can we go back the other way? Two wins in a row. We come back up to 32. If so, that would be a three win in a row, $300 in three minutes. And we are going to get there, guys. Boom, that's three wins in a row. Back to the green, making back all the loss that we had. Reduce my risk all the way to the top of this little range. If we bust out of that, that's going to be my exit. But if we don't, and we would be getting that TP. Let's see what happens here. If one of these gets tagged, that's it. And it does look like it's going to tag the stop. So we took a small loss, but all in all, man, that was a good little run. I'm going to do it. We're in with some automation again. Again, looking for the upside. So once we get to five points during this consolidational period, it is going to reverse. That TP is going to reverse back to the entry, and it's going to continuously keep playing the long and the short side. Looking, capture, choppiness, back and forth. That is the whole point of this method. If the stop gets hit, we would be out. The automation would stop. But if it doesn't, the TP continues to run, continuously milking the consolidation in profit. You know what? I'm gonna hop out. We just milked that thing, man, for $368. I am getting in the MCOT consolidation method, looking for price to go to the TP. After it hits the TP, it's gonna reverse off of that. Trying to capture the points within chop, within consolidation. Gonna move my stop just outside of this little range. Trying to get this TP. Every time it tags a TP, we are gonna reverse. Looking for five points to the downside, but if we tag it, we're gonna be looking for five points to the upside. And that's gonna continue to run until either I stop it manually or it stops out. I'm going to tag out though. I'm going to tag out with a very small loss. We are going to conserve what we just gained on that. Looking for five points to the downside using the consolidation method. Every time we hit the TP, we're going to reverse back the other way, trying to capture the profits within the choppy conditions. Finding a consolidative period here and wanting to just capture five points each way. Right now we're short, but if we tag it, we're going to go long. It does look like we're going to get very close. Consolidation method here using automated take profit brackets. So close to tagging out of that. Go, let's get to five. We tag that TP, we go the other way. Are we able to move down enough to actually tag out to the TP? Part of me that just wants to end it, I might just close it to protect myself because it could just go range bound. The longer I sit in this, the longer I expose myself. And I'm gonna do just that. We're just gonna have to take a loss on it. I'm not gonna sit here and just get stopped out at 200 whenever I don't have to. We're gonna hop in. Looking for some short side action. I'm tagging this setup in here in the middle of the consolidation range. That is where we're gonna stick our stop for now. If this hits the stop, the automation will quit. But if we can keep on moving down, it does look like we are. If we move down a little further and tag out, the TP is gonna reverse and it does just that. Reversing back the other way. If we can come up just a little bit more again, that would entail a other win, a two win in a row. The stop is just outside of the consolidation range. Let's see if we can come back up and tag that TP. No, 
Wow, okay. Huge candle to the downside, completely wiping out our entire method there. There's the chirp. I'm in. We're looking for 10 points on the scalp. Are we able to get there? Only looking for 10, not looking for much. Can we get it? Can we get it? Four points in the money, looking for 10 and... Boom, we got it. That was a very easy trade. Nice. Break even came into play at eight. We got the 10 points. Without a doubt, that was really nice. We could have even gotten 10 more points on that. I'm gonna do it. I'm looking for 10 points again. See if we can get it. Moving up two points in the money. Are we able to get there? One point. At eight points, break even would come into play. One point, two, three. Can we move up to where we need to be? We're looking for 81. Momentum is still looking pretty good. I'm hoping I don't overstay my welcome on this trade. Playing it again because it looks so good. Momentum still looks really good. Moving up a little bit in the green. We might have overstayed state our welcome on this. I tried to take a second crack at it, but I should have just walked away with the profit as I do expose myself to a potential loss. Let's see if it can survive long enough. We got 15 points on the stop. If we're able to move up a little bit off of that, coming back up to break even, looking for a little bit more strength to come in. We can move up just a tad bit more over 70. Getting to 81 is not unrealistic. I think we can make that. 1.2 in the money. Actually, we're going to survive this. It looks like three points in the money. If this comes up just a tad bit more, we're actually going to tag out on the TP. Moving up pretty good. Four in the money. If we can get to eight, break even comes into play and that would save us if there's any more drawdown and can we get to eight boom we got eight we got break even can we get the tp 10 points let's go boom i think we're probably gonna get the chirp there it is i'm in we're looking for 10 points can we get there boom moving up already got 10 we're out oh my gosh that is what i'm talking about so easy in and out couldn't even speak with how fast we just moved on that got the chirp got the entry and we played it man are we gonna play it again because it still looks pretty dang good momentum came all the way down setup formed we moved all the way over 80 i think i'm gonna do it i'm gonna play it we're looking for 10 points can we get up looking for 10 we got two let's get all the way up come on we move over 20k we would be getting in with our second win on this guy and moving up we are a good strengthful candle here gotta keep on moving momentum looks good can we get to 10 points, three in the money. We are at the break even area. Once we get to eight points, break even would come into play. It is coming down a little bit though. A little bit worrisome. Is it going to survive and hold? Coming down with some weakness though. We might get stopped out on this. I may have overstayed a welcome. Ooh, man, it's getting spicy here at 20K and that is going to indicate an exit on the stop, unfortunately. Shaving off a lot of those profits, but it's okay. Overstayed my welcome a little bit. Momentum still looked really good. Damn. I'm going to do it, man. I'm in. I'm only looking for 10 points. See if we can get up here. Momentum is just looking too good. My setup played. We're looking for a little bit of pullback here. We're only looking for 20,010. It's not much. And we're moving up four points in the money. Can we get up there? Using the momentum to indicate a reversal in the direction in the price action. I'm looking to scalp 10 points. Are we able to tag out at that? Only need 20,010. Busting back up through 20,000. Once we get to eight, break even on the stop comes into play. Just about getting to it. Almost getting there. Guys, we were just a couple points off. Are we able to tag up and get the 10 that we need? And we are going to get to the break even point. Stop goes to break even. Break even gets hit. Thank you for watching the live session of stream 231. Catch me weekdays every morning around 9 a.m. CST. Goodbye for now.